Hello students, welcome to the session. So in the last session, I was informing you about the Yama, that is the uh, Ahimsa and Satya. So today we are going to talk about the Aste, that is the non-stealing. So non-stealing means like you should not take the things of others without their knowledge. So here the Sadaka should not take anything which is not belonging to him okay it is told that like we are not taking any other things without their knowledge but we should not steal the ideas or the thoughts of others and you should not get the credit also so here asteya pratishtayam sarvaratna upasthanam asteya means to not to steal okay pratishtayam means fixed permanent stable sarva means all ratna means jewel upa means near Sthana means space, Upasthana means to be available. Once non-stealing is been permanently established, all the riches will be available. So here it tells that if you are non-stealing, that is you are not stealing anything, so automatically all the credits which you are putting the effort will be available for you and you will be able to permanently establish your own richness uh, uh, which is uh, uh, for the opportunity which you have got so brahmacharya it's a intelligence or the controlling of your sexual desire so it has been told that it's a very good discipline to control your own intelligence okay so when you are been practicing the higher intelligence so you should have a control over your mind you should have a control over your body you should have a control over your thoughts you should have a control over your um, lifestyle so then only you can lead a proper lifestyle brahma charya pratishtayam virya labaha brahma means god charya means to change brahmacharya means the the absolute monk or the celibacy okay so pratishtaya means fixed permanent or stable virya means the life force laba means require or to achieve performing each action with the awareness of the higher ideal or the higher conscious and enters the tremendous strength so here it tells that if you have the control over your higher uh, conscious or the higher ideal so that is called as a brahmacharya you can get the lot of strength so here i would like to tell a beautiful story so about the ekalavya ekalavya was uh, having uh, the god or the uh, having the ideal of the dronacharya he himself learnt and each and everything by keeping his ideal so here and he had the beautiful strength so here also it tells that the if you are performing a good action on your awareness uh, on your uh, higher ideal so you will be able to get the beautiful strength on your things what you are doing aparigraha aparigraha sthairya janma katanta sambodaha aparigraha means non convectiveness non acceptance of gift sthairya means stability jnanam means birth janam means janama means birth okay katha kathanta means how or why sambodaha means under, understanding the knowledge the permanent region of non convectiveness that is the aparigraha engenders the knowledge concerning with the goal of earthly life so it clearly tells that if you are not accepting any gifts or like if you are not accepting the things from the others then you can gain a lot of knowledge it clearly tells that when you want to gain the knowledge without any expectation you should learn it okay so if you have the expectation so you may end up with a misery so without any expectation you can gain a lot of energy or the lot of uh, earthly life that is you can go beyond uh, go uh, to the down to the earth and you can gain a lot of knowledge 
so apatik aparigraha is the non possessiveness so it has been told that so many people will have a lot of necessities comfort and luxurious so it is subjective and also it is a limitless so when it comes to the necessity when you have certain necessities so you will be asking more and more and more of necessities so when you get a comfort so you will be going more and more of comfort so when you get the luxurious so you will be asking for more and more luxuriousness so which is always limitless so it tells that if you are able to spend time and energy accumulating these things so which are not really needed so that means it tells that the prop tells that like how much ever needed for us that much only we have to uh, utilize so you should not be more comfort you should not be more luxurious you should not be more um, needed for the necessities so you should not ask many like um, uh, you should not be more prompting to get or gain something which is desired okay so which will be desired so if you are asking more things then you will be ending up with a lot of misery so you should have a constant fear of uh, you will be having a constant fear of losing if you if you um, uh, get the more costlier things and if you are not able to maintain it so you will be ending up with a lot of uh, stress or a lot of mental disturbances so here it tells that the social discipline is mainly important it is like a mirror so we can consider this one as a mirror or the third newton's law for every action there is a equal and opposite reaction so it tells that like whenever you are giving something and you'll be gaining something so if you are not giving anything so you'll be not able to gain something so if you smile in front of the mirror you can feel the um, uh, mirror view image of smiling if you are uh, crying you will be able to see the mirror view of image crying so the same way so it tells that when you are living in a society in a environment so you will be feeling a lot of stress and lot of uh, problems okay so you need to uh, get through it or you need to uh, come out of the lot of stress means like you should live in a proper lifestyle in this society so these are the five main things which you need to follow in the yama that is the ahimsa satya asteya brahmacharya and aparigraha so here i will end up this session telling that this social code of conduct or the respect for the others is mainly important to lead a proper lifestyle thank you thank you students